Hey guys, so after completing my playthrough of Lands of Lore, the Throne of Chaos, I wanted to make kind of a tips and tricks video for this game, so that you won't have to die as often and having to reload as much as I did during my playthrough of the game. So here they are, my top 9 tips for playing Lands of Lore, the Throne of Chaos. Number 9. One thing that most people pick up early in this game is that you can throw rocks at enemies to kill them. This can be very effective, especially against some enemies. This also increases the rogue skill, which is nice. Number 8. After searching Roland's manor and re-entering Gladstone Keep, you should empty Timothy's inventory as he will stop following you, and you will lose the items if you don't. The same applies for Laura before you meet the Draracle. Number 7. Get the Atlas and the Compass. These are vital to be able to navigate through the various dungeons and forests you are venturing through. I am showing the locations in the video now, so if you haven't got them, go back to the start of this part of the video and you will see where to find them. Life will be easier with them. Number 6. A cool trick that I learned is that you can equip a ranged weapon on Bakara and he will attack both range and melee at once. This can be very effective and also increases Bakara's rogue skill. I find that the best ranged weapon to use is the Valkyr crossbow. Number 5. Your ability to pick lock, chest and doors are determined by your rogue skill. I would recommend getting a minimum of 4 in order to get everywhere you need, but I have found one chest which I couldn't pick even with a rogue skill of 7, so you can't really go too far on that skill. Number 4 Okay, check this out. At this skull in the swamp, you can place useless items and items that you can't sell to vendors and get some money in return. You can do this endlessly with almost any item, including sticks, horseshoes, rocks, and lamp oil. Number 3. Balin's cube is the only thing that you can use to effectively kill ghosts that are found in the White Tower level 3 and in Castle Chimeria. Number 2! A nice trick that I learned that is quite useful, especially if you have a messy inventory, is that whenever in a fight, you can just click on your character's portrait to pause the battle. When paused, you can search for the potion, spell, or whatever you need before unpausing the game again. This is really helpful in difficult battles. Number 1! Do not attack the Gorka people living in the swamp. They are really hard to kill, and you can buy and sell weapons from them. This part of the game is much easier with the Gorka on your side. Hello again, heroes. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and that you find at least some of these tips useful. In my next video I will be explaining how to get out of those places I got completely stuck in when I played through the game. If you want to be notified when that video is ready, hit the subscribe button. See you then!